Hi, this is Simon with Handsoft. This video will show you how to set up a dashboard in Handsoft. Let's start by creating a dashboard page. So let's create my page here. Once we created a page, we can choose to share this with our colleagues, either through read only by selecting the user we want to be able to view this page, or we can select it in a collaborative mode with people that can add and edit graphs that are on this page. As our first example chart, uh, we will create a graph that shows us how much work remaining each person has on their table. So let's add a chart here, and let's change the layout to one column. First, we need to select the data set to generate the graph on. In this case, we only want to see work remaining in project one. Select, select, select project one. This will set the base data that we will use to generate the graph. We can either choose an existing project or a report that we have made down here. Secondly, we need to choose the dimension on how to divide the data. This defines the categories on how we want to split the data. So in this case, we're looking at how people, how much work each person has. We're going to choose assign to. Finally, we must select what we measure, which will be any numeric attribute in Handsoft. We're looking for work remaining. So let's select that down here in project columns. And there we have our first graph. Let's name this work remaining. And there we go. This graph will update as data changes in regular intervals. If we want to force an update, we can always click refresh and all the graphs on a page will be updated. We can also add additional dimensions. So for example, we might be interested to see how work is dispersed across sprints if there are people that are working in several sprints. So let's select committed to sprint here. As you can see now, we can see how each person's work is allocated across sprints. For a clear view, we can choose to stack this. And we can see that some people have work in multiple sprints. We can also choose to change the diagram type. Let's change this bar chart to a pie chart instead. And it will look like this. Another graph we might be interested in is how the scope remaining of a backlog is trending over time. There is a very quick way to do that. So let's move into project one's backlog. And let's say that we want to track the progress of feature one. If we right click this and choose create dashboard chart, we will be shown this wizard. And let's just call it feature one, scope left. And let's make it a burn down chart. We are going to measure points. As we, that's the unit we're using in this project. And we're going to choose to put it on our page that we just created. And we click Create Chart. And now you can see that we have a chart here, which starts today. From now on, this chart will continuously show us how the scope is changing in this backlog section. We might also choose to add another measure to this graph. So let's say that we also want to see the total scope. And then we can just pull in points here. And now we'll have two lines. The green line represents the total scope in this backlog section. And this one is the amount of work we have left. That's all I want to show for now. So happy experimenting with this. And read the manual for further instructions. Thanks for your time.